Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my Python project. I have already created my Python project previously. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the project video. Now let's see the project. I'm running the project. So here is the project. This is the main page, the home page of our project. Metric a complete healthcare solution. Here you can see there is three different module admin module doctor's module and patient module on upper hand side you can see the medtech logo admin module doctor module patient module about us and contact us uh, so an admin needs to create an account for accessing this and doctor and patient so on so first let's see the admin dashboard i have already created an admin account so let's log in here is the admins dashboard admin can see the total doctors uh, approved here the total doctors in this hospital total patients admitted here and the appointments so he can also see that if a doctor creates an account he needs to be approved by an admin so he can see that if any doctors record any approvals any patient record any approvals and the appointments needs to be approved so he can also see the recently added doctors here over here and their status and the also can see the patient recently added patient their information and status from the left hand side he can control doctor patient and appointments if we go to the doctor he can see the doctor's record let's see here is all the doctors in this list we can see that in this hospital one two three four five there are five doctors added over here their uh, phone number their address department uh, and everything you can see over here i can an admin can update or delete any kind of information so if you go back then admin can register a new doctor over here by by filling this form and also approve the doctor the if a doctor creates an account by his own he have to approve an, ad, an admin have to approve his registration form then he can see the categories of doctors so there are different type of categories and he can see that which doctors are available in which categories and their contact information if we go back and go to the patient panel he can see the similar type of interface here you can see that uh, patients dashboard so from this patient information he can see that the total patients admitted over here their profile picture their symptoms phone number address and uh, he can also update the patient's information and then delete any information and he can also admit a patient so on just like the doctor he can also approve the patient he can also discharge a patient who are already admitted over here and then appointment he can see the appointments there are no appointments right here uh, he can book an appointment and he can approve appointments so let's see admins works by going to doctors and patients panel now let's log out from the admin panel now we have to log into a doctor panel so let's apply first then i will be logging in so i have already created an account but let's see how can a doctor can be applied so let's here edit a demo doctor 01 this is mr doctor i will be putting his username so demo doc 01 password just randomly generated a password let's say he is an emergency medical emergency medicine specialist his phone number from here his hospital let's say okay let it be bottom general hospital and his image i have to upload an image so just put a random image and register so now his account has been created but it needs to be approved so what happened if we log in let's say login demo doc 01 password will be so if we try to log in we can say that the name will be shown over here hello doctor demo doctor one your account is not approved till now our team is checking your profile soon your account will be confirmed so log out for now to approve this we have to log in as an admin let's log in i've already created 
uh, admin so here you can see that there are five total doctors and approval required one you can also see that from the recent doctors panel the demo doctor 01 mr doctor emergency medicine specialist his phone number and his status is on hold to approve the doctor we have to go to the doctor panel and approve doctor you can see his information so if we think that the information is right and if you think to it needs to be approved so we can approve it or can reject it let's approve it okay now log out and let's log in for the doctor just we have approved so demo duck 01 and password login here you can see that his account has been created you can see the appointments for him patient no patient under him and his he haven't discharged any patient the recent appointments are empty dashboard he can see the patients and he can see the appointments okay let's log out for him now let's log in for a pre-made it account let's say let's say here is a doctor okay so you can see that there is a pre-made account for a doctor he have not any appointments yet he have four patients under him and he have already discharged four patients so he can see his patients details from here your patient record all of the patients were under him you can see over here and he can see the discharge patient this patient has been discharged by him uh, he can also see the admit admission date the release date is their symptoms phone number and addresses he can also see his appointments there are no appointments for him okay that's the doctor panel now let's log out and just log in as a patient i have already created a patient so i'm logging it over here to save time let's say i am logging as a patient so if a patient login he can see that this is a you can see that this is a patient's dashboard he can see the doctor's name so he is admitted the patient alif is admitted under dr satman sakib his problem is headache, chest pain, vomiting and viral sensation. The doctor's phone number, the doctor's address, doctor's department, emergency medicine specialist and his admit, admission date. He can also create an appointment, a book an appointment. He can see the doctor's list and he can also see that if he is discharged or not. So we have already discharged this patient. So we cannot see that. So let's create a account for a patient quickly. Let's say demo patient 02 demo pet 02 his address let's say Mirpur Dhaka his phone number symptoms let's say COVID-19 the doctor's name so let's say he's under Dr. Sadman profile picture just clicking a random pick and register okay so we have to we have to first approve him for that we are logging in as an admin so here you can see that there are six total doctors for total patient and wants to admit one here is this information demo patient 2 symptoms COVID-19 mobile number address and his status is on hold so let's go to patient panel approve patient and I can see his information so let's approve him okay now now let's log into the new patient that we have just created demo at 02 password login and you can see that his account has been created he is under Dr. Satma Saki Twitter address doctor department his symptom phone doctor phone number and his admission date so if he wants to create an appointment he can create an appointment from here first let's see there is no appointment for him now let's say that he is having some problem let's say he is having a headache so what can he do so he will write his description i am facing a lot of headache and pointing since morning okay so for which doctor he's for satman 
emergency medicine specialist so let's book an appointment so you can see that he have booked an appointment for dr sadman he is facing a lot of headache and vomiting since morning that 15 december and the status is pending so to approve it we need to go to the admin first so let's say the admin have logged in and he can see that approve appointments one so there is an appointment which needs to be approved let's go to approve appointment and you can see that the patient demo patient have created an appointment for dr sad let's approve it okay so where did the appointment go the appointment is to the doctor's panel it has already been transferred to the doctor so let's log in as the doctor so you can see that one appointment for you here is an appointment recent appointments for you demo patient have created an appointment okay let's go to appointment view your appointment and you can see his appointment so what it does it informs a doctor that this patient is facing this problem and he needs your help so the doctor will see this appointment and will contact with him let's say this patient is already admitted in this hospital so doctor can contact him and can solve the problem by phone or can go to visit this patient by his address and let's say that the doctor has solved this problem so what can he do he can do is delete this appointment so he deleted this appointment and log out so the patient um, so let's say the we are going to the patient demo patient too so the appointment should be empty yes the appointment is empty what is discharge discharge is saying that if the patient is have been released or not so you can see that you are not discharged by the hospital your treatment is still going on so this patient is under treatment till now he's not discharged so let's say the patient have been cured successfully and he needs to be discharged so the doctor can tell the admin that this patient have been successfully recovered and he can give a certificate for his discharge so the admin can discharge him by giving him an invoice let's log in for the doctor yeah, sorry let's log in for the admin so here you can see the five patients and the patient let's discharge that patient demo patient to covid 19 let's discharge him so by discharging him he needs to create a invoice for him so what this invoice does is this invoice shows the patient's information his admission date release date day spent and his doctor's name so yeah, this also shows the diseases and symptoms and there are the charges for the patient so this is the room charge per day this won't be count for him because he haven't spent any days so let's just put 2500 let's say in this hospital the room charge per day is 2500 the doctor fee is 500 the medicine cost is let's say 150 and other charges is 200 like foods or something else so here there is a point that he just admitted in 15 december and released at 15 december so he haven't spent any days so he won't be charged at this right he won't be charged 2500 because he haven't spent so if the patient admitted today and if he got released tomorrow then he would charge 2500 so what it does is this room charge per day this amount multiplies with the day's amount and put it over here so you can see that he haven't spent any days so by multiplying 2500 by 0 uh, the result will be 0 so he don't have to pay this let's say generate the bill so you can see that the room charge for zero days is zero so he don't have to pay the room charge and the uh, doctor fee 500 medicine cost 150 and other charges 200 so total amount is 850 this is the invoice generated for him you can also download this invoice directly from here start download and let's say this is the invoice for him the uh, project name mastic his informations and his total charges okay that's all for the admin and let's go to the patient which we have just discharged okay let's now let's go to discharge 
you can see an invoice already have been generated for him. Previously there was written that he haven't been discharged yet, the statement is still going on. But now after discharging him, he can also see his invoice and also can download it from here. He can see his information and his total price. That's for the patient. Okay, let's log out. That's all about this free modules and if anyone have an emergency then he can directly click over here and directly can create an account and can directly register at the doctor and can directly appoint an appointment. So this is the main project and there are two tabs about us and contact us. Let's see about us is our information, our members who have helped us to build this amazing project to so if anyone so let's say anyone likes this project and want to work with us so how can he contact with us there are five different options you can see that there are four social media accounts linked over here so if you click anyone you can directly go to our facebook page whatsapp instagram and twitter let's say we have clicked facebook so you can directly come over our facebook page and if anyone want to contact us or else send us any messages like his valuable opinions or anyone find any bugs of on this website he can directly contact us with this tab here he have to put a name email address and message let's say uh, okay let's say demo person text demo person text is let's say his email is demo person at the right of gmail.com and his message is very nice and some randomly generated letters and digits send message so he can directly send message to us after clicking the sent message you can see that thanks for your valuable response we will respond to your feedback soon so where does this message come the message directly come into our email so let's check our email refresh it and we can see that a new email just popped up uh, the text so this is the name demo person text this is his email and this is the message we have just it so let's say anyone finds a bug or anyone needs to contact with us to work with this project he can written write his name his email and his message so we can see his message and can contact him by this given email address and this phone number uh, sorry this email address and by knowing his name from here this is our project oh uh, here is also given some copyright information in every pages that's all about our project i am mohammad satman sakib id 19315 section b department of csc daffodil international university that's all about today thank you for being with me thank you so much allah Hafiz.